drones allow us to explore areas that we would otherwise never dare step foot in, and as they fly through the sky high above, they sometimes catch things that were never meant to be witnessed by the human eye. Number 11. This drone footage was taken somewhere deep in the Salt Fork Park in Ohio. The video starts out ordinarily enough, but then sometime around the 5 minute mark, you might be able to see something hiding in the thickets. Watch the left side of your screen closely as the drone starts to land, and pay close attention because it happens pretty fast. Many people claim they can see a large creature stop and look up as the drone passes by. Some even claim that this is a Bigfoot sighting in broad daylight. I do see what they are talking about, but I personally don't see any movement, and I think it could possibly be a tree. Let me know if you see it and if you agree. Number 10. When a freak thunderstorm sets this large hayfield on fire, in Weld County, Colorado, a brave farmer named Eric Howard hops into his tractor and heads straight for the action. He has a wild plan that's about to greatly help firefighters contain the 30-acre blaze if it all goes well. Thinking fast, Eric quickly carves a long path across the field to keep the fire from spreading. It's a firefighting strategy called a fire line, which is where you remove the top soil so that there is less material to burn. He barely manages to stay ahead of the inferno, and the dancing flames grow tall enough to melt the paint off his trusty tractor the whole time. Eventually, the wildfire is contained, and Eric is credited by the firefighters for his gutsy plan, which probably saved additional acres from going up in flames. Let me know what you would do in this situation, and if you think Eric should have left it to the professionals. Number 9. A Predator Combat Drone is conducting a routine patrol when suddenly something huge and fast enters its airspace. What appears to be some kind of unidentified flying object streaks by the drone. In a gigantic burst of white light, the drone turns around to scan the area, but whatever zoomed past is now long gone. Unfortunately, no further footage was recovered. I don't know if the lack of information surrounding this video is a sign that it's fake, or it means the military simply isn't saying anything. The unidentified flying object could be CGI, but outside of that possibility, what you are watching could very well be our first contact with very technologically advanced extraterrestrials. Number 8. A YouTuber named Run Gun Griff is a drone enthusiast who explores a lot of exotic locations on his channel. Most of his videos are taken on tropical islands, but this one was shot at a hard-to-find rural spot that he simply describes as being in the middle of nowhere. As his drone flies high, you can see that Run Gun Griff and his friend are standing in the middle of a huge field of crops that's covered in a series of strange markings. The symbols themselves are perfectly symmetrical and extremely precise in their geometry. Their designs look strikingly identical and appear to have no noticeable differences, a sign that it was not made by humans. I suppose that it would be possible to do this with farm equipment, but farmers have little reason to vandalize their own field, and since there's absolutely no flaws in the design, I think that there is a strong possibility that this was made by something extraterrestrial. Let me know if you think that these crop circles are man-made or extraterrestrial in nature, and if you recognize any of these symbols from any literature, movie, or video games, then I'd definitely like to know where they are from. Number 7. A YouTuber named Furious Otter is piloting his nosy drone across a long stretch of woods when he comes across a mysterious all-white object that doesn't match the native scenery. He grows curious and decides to take the drone closer to the ground to get a better look. It's a decision that he probably now regrets. It doesn't look like much at first, but the situation becomes much more clear after he zooms in. A witch-like figure appears to crouch low while watching the drone from the tree line. 
I can't tell if they are waving at them or brushing something out of their hair, but either way, this strange hermit just shouldn't be out here this deep in the woods. This video is terrifying if it's real, but a couple of things make me question its authenticity. I know drones can get a lot closer than that, so why didn't he try to get closer to see if they needed help instead of immediately flying away? I guess he could have been worried about losing his drone or possibly even getting cursed, so he just got out of there fast instead. If that's the case, then I can't say I blame him. Let me know what you think you would have done if you were there. Number 6. This news drone records the aftermath of a giant blast that rocked a residential district in Westminster, Colorado. The giant, smoldering crater you are looking at was once a home, and even worse, the blast was done on purpose. The owner of the home, 59-year-old Gary Pine, was living all by himself when he decided to take his life in a very vengeful way. He disconnected his natural gas line and let his house fill up with gas until it blew, blowing off the side of his neighbor's house and sending debris flying across two whole blocks. No one knows exactly why he did it, nor will they ever feel completely safe in their home again. Number 5. These National Geographic explorers are using high-tech drones to map out the inside of a churning volcano for the very first time. Their drones are able to get close enough to the lava to capture shots that would boil a human alive. The thousand degree temperatures claim more than a few drones during the study, and each one is an expensive loss. These drones use sophisticated 3D technology to map out the bottom of a lava pit, something that has never been done before. You can even see an evil looking entrance where the high pressure magma shoots out of the volcano. The drones also have another purpose too. They let researchers measure exactly how close to the edge they can get before the incredible heat becomes too much to stand. Let me know if you think you'd be brave enough to do this kind of research or if you'd rather have a safer occupation. Number 4. An Australian YouTuber named Simon Lawrence is flying his drone high above his boat in Port Lincoln. He and his friends are looking to catch crabs, but soon they find something else entirely lurking in the deep ocean waters. The great white shark seems to silently study them for a bit before coming in for a closer look. Like he's keen. Back. When the shark shows interest in their crab pot, they wisely cut it loose and watch the shark swim away. Simon and his friends are very lucky because great white sharks have been known to try and overturn boats by swimming straight into them at full speed. Number 3. This drone video was taken in late 2016. Golden Hour is a YouTuber who is apparently just trying to get some aerial shots of his small town when he stumbles upon something that definitely doesn't belong in a cornfield. It kind of looks like an ordinary scarecrow at first, but then you can see it's a clown in a bright orange outfit with equally colorful hair. The strange and unfriendly clown glares at the drone before sprinting away at full speed. It makes its way into the mouth of the forest shortly, and the drone takes off back to safety. I have questions about this video that are similar to number 7. If this video is real, then once again I don't understand why the drone operator didn't pursue the clown further to figure out where it came from. I guess the clown could have just been a friend in a costume, but then again, maybe this was one of the many real clowns caught trespassing on properties in 2016. It's hard to say for sure, so I'd definitely like to get your opinion. Number 2. A YouTuber named Justin Brown has been seeing odd-looking people living in tents near his hometown in Lone Polk, California. He is too nervous to investigate the situation in person, so he sends his drone over for a closer look. Imagine Justin's surprise when he discovers an entire colony of strangers living on a riverbed less than a mile from his home. He has no idea who they are, what they want, or why they are so close to a suburban neighborhood, which doesn't seem particularly special in any way. Also, no one can seem to figure out what this mysterious blinking blue light is. Take a look at the way it keeps flashing persistently and tell me what kind of technology you think it could be. Maybe together we can figure out who lives here and their perp. Number 1. 
A YouTuber named Chris Lamb says that he was all alone when he shot this drone footage at Fort McLellan, Alabama, but the video says otherwise. You can clearly see that nobody is in the background at the beginning. But when Chris steadies the camera just a moment later, you can see someone standing by the street lamp. There's not enough time for anyone to walk out from behind a building, but yet here they are. Also, did you see how they seem to suddenly disappear in plain sight? I don't see any editing cuts, so I have absolutely no idea how this dark silhouette managed to vanish like that. Look again and you can definitely see them dematerialize. There's nothing wide enough for them to hide behind. They're just gone. Let me know if you think Chris Lamb's video is paranormal, extraterrestrial, or otherwise. A live broadcast can capture unusual content that was never intended to be the main focus of the show. I encourage you to take a look at these strange happenings caught live and try to help me make sense of them. Maybe together we can find coherent answers for these puzzling videos.